Hey everyone, welcome back to the page. That's the easy one. Today I'm bringing you guys a Fairy God Essentials review on a cable knit sweater. Um, the sweater originally retailed for $160, but of course I was able to get it for $64 on clearance just because of the fact I waited to buy the sweater out. I hate buying stuff at retail price, so I always wait for it to discount. And then as soon as the price dips to all time low, I swoop in like a vulture and I make the purchase. So today I got the Canary colorway uh, cable knit sweater, which I thought was wool, but it's mostly just cotton and a uh, synthetic blend. So um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried about getting a sweater at the time when I purchased it because I wasn't sure how the sizing would fit. I see a lot of the pictures with the models wearing the sweater and they say they're 6'1 and they're wearing a medium. But when I see the way that it's hanging from their body and it's really, you know, it seems oversized, I'm skeptical. If I want to buy that medium or if I want to go small and have a more standard uh, fit. So I actually went with the small because I was scared to go medium and have an extra baggy a sweater that I couldn't wear with any items I have in my closet currently. So I'm gonna take you guys through this adventure with me. Adventure time is back. I'm very excited. Also, there's a lot of stuff going on with One Piece, but I'm neither here nor there. So just keep me updated and let me know how it goes. And let's get back to the show. So um, here we go, let's get right into it. The main thing you guys are gonna get when you get the item is definitely gonna be the tag hanging from it, which is gonna say, essentials for your guy and then if you look at the other side it just has that little thin tag which says it's a men is a men's garment um a lot of these items in my opinion are unisex but i like the fact now that they do include the tag let you know whether or not it's a men's garment you're purchasing or if it's a woman's garment you're gonna have this simple plastic bag which is just a little light tent it says essentials for your guy on the front and then on the back of the bag, it's going to have the uh, size and the colorway down there in the corner. So you open it up and the first thing you would pull out would probably be the item. And then besides the item itself, you're going to have a dry packet in there. And then you're going to have the tag attached to the garment, which I already removed. So I can show you guys the um, price and the tag. So, yeah. Which is uh, right there. So one thing I definitely noticed when I unfolded it, the sweater and I looked at it, I had to smell it to make sure I didn't have any type of weird smell to it. It didn't, so I was very happy with that. It's got one single tag on the back of it, which I think at this point is a little cringe for essentials to keep doing over and over again, but they still keep doing it. So I live with it. Um, the tag on it, it says the size, which is a small, made in China, and then you just have this tag right here, which says Fairy God Essentials. The material feels very heavy, but at the same time, it's really soft, and, and um, I feel like I got the quality for it. And versus wool, I feel like I'm much heavy. I'm much happier with the material because I know if I wear wool for an extended period of time, without an undershirt, it's gonna be very itchy. And I already tried the sweater on without an undershirt and it fits me very comfortably. So if I was gonna wear it, maybe I'd wear like a classic A shirt underneath of it or a wife beater, whatever you wanna call it. But I wouldn't go too much with an undershirt for this garment because it's just so heavy and so thick. So um, yeah, the summer is over and fall right around the corner. This is probably gonna be a good item for me to wear. Like I said, I own a lot of hoodies and a lot of sweatshirts, but I'm trying to switch it up. So let's get right into trying it on because at this point, I'm running you guys up in about five minutes and I ain't into that, so let's do it. Everyone, so this first look I'm going for is kind of expi <laughs> expired. It's kind of inspired by, uh, you could say, a Tyreek St. Patrick mixed with uh, Miles Morales. So, you know, I'm going to school. I clearly can't afford to go to the school, but um, my dad is a drug dealer, Kingpin, or also I am Spider Man hide it in plain sight and I can afford to go to the school or my IQ is above average and I have I've gotten accepted to the school so this is the look I'm going for guys and I'm trying to give you in-depth uh, I guess explanatory yada 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 blasey blasey on what's going on so yeah this is pretty much the look right here um I got the canary colorway polo rugby 
underneath the canary colorway came with this sweater. And I'm wearing a Fair God Essentials khaki pants and a khaki colorway. And I got the Lost and Found Jordans on. So yeah, I definitely um, wasn't sure how I was gonna pull the sweater off before I tried this outfit on, but now that I have it on, I feel like the shirt and the collar really pulled it together nicely. So I would recommend doing that. And also just some simple pants, they don't do too much. And of course, a pair of kicks, which are on fire. So that's pretty much the look I'm going for. I'm gonna try some with a pair of jeans for you guys and that'll be that. If you have any questions for me about um, how it fit me, like I said, this is a small and I'm 6'2". I feel like this fits me perfectly. Just leave them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them for you guys as soon as I can. So let's get to the second look. Okay, everyone. So for the second look, I know I said I was gonna do a pair of jeans, but I decided to switch it up and go with the Fairy God Essential Stormfront pants because I'm not gonna lie, I'm mostly gonna be wearing this item in the winter because it's, it's heavier and I bought it out of season because it was cheaper to buy it out of season. So once, I don't know, maybe the Phillies are in the World Series in October or sometime after uh, Thanksgiving pass, I'll be looking for some heavier items to wear and I might wanna put a jacket on and I can just opt in for this sweater and I'll be good to go. With the Stormfront pants, I think it really brings the look together. And I just threw on a pair of basic black Travis Scott low tops. And I got the Fairy God Essentials wool hat, which is, in my opinion, a bad material for, for a hat. But I understand that Jerry was going for that more um, retro, you could say, vibe. So I understand the wool. A lot of baseball caps back in the 70s are whatever era his dad was playing in had wool on the caps so i understand the wool cap i understand that the sweater however is not wool i am appreciative that it's cotton because i don't want that itching material over my body but yeah so in the winter time you can catch me wearing these let me know if you guys have any questions about the fit um or if you have any comments please leave them below so i can enjoy your feedback everyone peace out Summer was lit, Virgo season continues, and hope to see you at Utopia, but hopefully you got the tickets for a date that wasn't scheduled, rescheduled or canceled. But I'm gonna leave it there, bye.